Hey guys, it's Monday here at Showed Engineering Performance and the weather's kind of crazy at this time of the year, up and down temperatures and all of that stuff. You've got a lot of wide fluctuations. So since it's been a couple days since I've been in the shop, uh, before I really do any kind of precise measuring with my micrometer, I want to make sure everything's within calibration. And so I thought it'd be a cool thing to show you guys how we check our calibration on our micrometers. So this particular micrometer is a three to four inches, so it'll measure anything from three to four inches. And so how I will check the calibration on that is I will uh, I will bring it really, really close to zero, and I'll take this, which is exactly three inches long, and I will set that in between there, and I will tighten that down. And again, we're not cranking on it or anything like that. We're making sure everything is nice and clean and all of that. And you'll have spots where, like, it's crooked there, but now I'm just moving it around a little bit, and I'm just lightly applying pressure until... I can't anymore. And so that is about as tight as I, that's just snug. I mean, it's just barely dragging there. And so now I'm going to lock it in place and then I'm going to take a look at my veneer scale and I'm going to see where I'm at. So I'm actually showing and you can barely see really that's looking maybe about two tenths off. And so that doesn't sound like a whole lot. I mean, that's a tenth of a thousandth of an inch, two tenths of a thousandth of an inch, but in precision machinery, um, Two tenths is uh, quite a bit and it can throw you off quite a lot. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna find this hole here and I'm gonna snag it in there and I'm just going to, while it's locked down, very gently, I'm just gonna bring it and turn that until the zero lines up with that line right about there. And so I wanna double check this and I wanna make sure back here, right here at the zero, my lines are lining up and so now I know I'm perfectly within calibration so I can make precise measurements now with my micrometer.